What's the difference between 70 million and 246? For a team of mathematicians, the difference is more than just a number. It's the story of how a relatively unknown researcher cracked an impenetrable math problem, setting off a mad dash to set a new record in the timeless study of prime numbers. Prime numbers are the building blocks of all numbers. Divisible only by one and themselves, they can be multiplied together to generate every natural number. As such, primes have fascinated mathematicians since antiquity, in particular, whether and how these numerical atoms themselves are structured. In ancient Greece, Euclid proved that there are infinitely many such numbers. More than 2,000 years later, Carl Friedrich Gauss became the first to find a pattern in their distribution. He noticed that the rate at which prime numbers stack up as you tiptoe down the number line declines steadily as the number of digits increases, an observation that was later proved. This means that primes become increasingly rare the farther down the line you go. But even at astronomical values, researchers have found pairs of primes, or twin primes, separated by a distance of just two, like 3 and 5, or 17 and 19. So is it possible that infinitely many such pairs exist? While he didn't prove the case for twin primes, Yi Tang Zhang was the first to demonstrate that prime pairs separated by a finite distance, no more than 70 million, occur infinitely often. While far from the target distance of two, the result was groundbreaking. Since then, an international team of researchers working under the pseudonym DHJ Polymath has closed the prime gap tremendously. Dispelling the image of a solitary mathematical genius, the group collaborated almost entirely through the internet to set the current record at 246. They got there by building on the work of Zhang and others and fine-tuning what's known as the Selberg sieve, an advanced mathematical device for sifting out prime numbers. Any further improvements toward the elusive twin-prime conjecture will likely require substantial adjustments to existing methods. But the collective effort of the polymath team is encouraging. It could pave the way for the next big breakthrough in the study of primes.